Merci. First things first, as usual, that seems to be the way the press conferences are uh, developing. It would be most natural, I think, for you to introduce yourselves all. Go ahead. Well, we will start with me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, hi, everyone. My name is Aminata, and I'm a participant from Latvia with the Song Love Injective. And this is my team. Hi, my name is Katrin Anna, and I am back with Kalp. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm back vocalist. Hi, my name is Levan, I'm the backing vocalist too. Hi, my name is Kasper, so I did arrangement and, and supported guitar maybe in some kind of... Okay, I'm going to start off with the classic question that you get a gazillion times, I'm sure, over, especially in these days. And I know it for myself, I'm half Egyptian and half Austrian. People are always like, what, what, what? Tell us a little bit about your background, please. Well, um, um, as, you, as you see, I'm mixed. My mother is from Latvia, and my father was born in Africa, in Burkina Faso. So, and I was born in Latvia also. And um, grown up in, in Latvia, and uh, Latvia is my home. Uh, and um, musically, uh, your cultural background, what, a, what an interesting mix. Does it inform your musicality? Uh, you know, it's difficult to say about myself if, if, if it has influenced me or not. But I think that, of course it is, because everything influence us, influence us and um, for me, I like all those uh, instruments like percussions and yeah. this African, African stuff like mm -hmm. drums. And, yeah. To like right. and, yeah. Okay. So probably. And, and then think about your your song, Love Injection, that uh, immediately came to my mind the first time I heard it was this could be a good bond theme. Don't you think? Don't you think? I don't know. Would that be Okay. Well, uh, time for me to go to the press corps and uh, see if you've got any questions out there. Anyone? Yes. Uh, I'll start with uh, the young fellow with the undercut and the side thing. <laughs> We've got a, um, a microphone somewhere in, in the vicinity. There we go. Okay. Hi, I'm Sergius from uh, Eurovision Art or Sporty from Poland. Uh, I've got a question. Uh, you already released your debut album, Immer Voice. Uh, what's the Immer Voice uh, with you? Uh, what's the album about? What can we find in this album? Well, in this album you can find, um, it's my inner word speaking in this album, and uh, all the songs I wrote are my emotions, my personal feelings, and even my experience, my life experience. Uh, and uh, each song means something for me, something that happens in my life. Uh, sometimes it's bad things, sometimes it's good things, and um, it's just my thoughts and my feelings in this album. Okay, next question. Uh, David? From uh, Down Under, yeah. Um, somebody can come. There you go. Hello, I'm David Alexander from the Star Observer newspaper in Australia. Um, I seem to be asking all the tattoo questions. Um, apparently, you'll be having tattoos applied to you for your performance. I was wondering whether you'd be able to explain them. Explain the tattoos? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I will have um, triangle on my hand. That and it is, um, the meaning of this tattoo is air, the air. Um, then I will have lines. Uh, I don't know, I just like lines. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also I will have, uh, I, I, I haven't decided if I will have a bird here. <laughs> An owl. Yes. An owl. An owl, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will see. It's not sure. Curi curiosity is getting to me. That's interesting. Okay. Um, anybody else in, in the press corps? Anyone else have a question? Yes, gentlemen, right in the front row. Here we go. Thank you. First of all, thank you for your performance on stage. I love it. I think everything fits perfectly. 
Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sorry, hello. Yeah. I'm Michael um, for the Yacht of Sun and the uh, Eurovision Group in Germany. So, thank you for that. And uh, I read that you were very focused before you go on stage. You talk to nobody and you listen to alien music. And sometimes you were hide in dark corners. First of all, is it true? And did you do it here as well? Is there any dark corner where you can hide? Well, yes, it's true. <laughs> I do this usually before my performances because I, it's uh, the easiest way for me to concentrate. And here, I haven't done this here yet, but probably I will do this uh, when um, the competition will start. Mm. All right, yes, another question, Alistair? Here comes your mic. Hi, my name is Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. Um, you've been on TV quite a few times over the years. I'd like to ask you about the show Choir Awards. Um, what, what, what did you learn from being on a choir in TV that now helps you at, at the Eurovision? You know, um, actually from this choir I have, my, I have found my back vocalist because we sang at the, at the, at the same choir. And uh, that's the, the important, uh, the, I think, I found friends I found people who <laughs> sing well, and um, I I learned how to work in collective. So that's that's the most important thing I learned. It's cool to get your voice posse at choir <coughs> practice. It's, it's wonderful. It's a good way to, to, to get your to get your uh, performance together. Um, we have the uh, hashtag Ask Your Vision opportunity for people who would like to participate online in press conferences. And that's exactly what Gabor has done. And this is his question. Which is the word that best describes you? Let me think. Which is the word? I don't know. Which is the word? <laughs> How would you describe me? Uh, I would say radiant. Radiant. <laughs> I would say that she is very genuine. Genuine. <laughs> yeah, she's never um, artificial. Never. Never. Very genuine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll take that for sure. I can see that. I see you have a guitar up on stage. Does this mean that we can have a little <laughs> musical treat? Of course. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do it.
Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>